Before I was a Gwen Caster, I actually worked in the advertising industry for six years. And I, I left that job to pursue other things. And uh, I actually wanted to write a lot. And I decided to start a podcast about Gwent. I basically uh, started doing YouTube. You know, it worked out. I, I started playing card games, I started covering them, and I, then I stumbled upon Gwent, and I was invited to uh, CD Projekt Red studio. And through the exposure of the podcast, I got to know CD Projekt Red. I got invited to uh, Warsaw, and from there, they said, hey, we're looking for people that maybe want to cast the games. Let me know if you're interested. I let them know I was interested, and here I am. Okay, this stops it, this stops it. Fantastic. No, 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 it doesn't! Whoa! It doesn't! Oh, this is gonna be no. Oh my god! This is gonna be a great look at this. Oh it was a real marathon to cast the first challenger. 12 hours is a long time to do almost anything. And what I was happy about is that my voice held up and my energy level held up because it was really just, it was such a rush to be there. Like nothing really before that. Once you're on the stage with the big lights and all the different cameras and you're, I was next to, you know, a pro. Uh, Josh Gray, and of course next to Mogwai, who's in the same position as, 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 as I was. And 12 hours, just, it was really something. What is up, everyone? Greetings. In mere hours, we're about to kick off the Gwent Open, which means... Which means, if you have any plans this weekend, cancel them. So, I know what I mean, so. That's right. I love casting with Mogwai. First of all, he's hilarious in the way he reacts to the plays, and uh, we have a great contrast. I'm a bit more tempered and reserved, uh, which is funny because in my group of friends, I'm probably the loudest, craziest person, but next to Mogwai, I actually seem very tame. And I think that there are some growing pains at first as we had never really done this, but at this point, uh, I just, I love our dynamic, and uh, it's always a pleasure. It's always a pleasure to cast with Mogwai. What do I think about my co-caster? Well, I despise him. No, I'm just kidding. I, I love Dane. He's also like, uh, we contrast a lot in styles, and in a lot of ways, he keeps me in check. And it's, I think we flow very well together, honestly. And I, I may or may not be saying this because he's standing close to me, and I, you know, I don't want to talk bad about him, but yeah. It's very, it's, it's very cool to see. Um, it was definitely um, most impacting when I first did it, because I saw like everything that goes down into making these events. There's a lot of work to be done production-wise. Uh, you know, sound, visuals, and making sure everything is, is flowing fine. Uh, it's definitely things you don't realize when you're a spectator. Back at home, you just take all these things for granted, but I've learned a lot from witnessing production uh, throughout these events, and it's made me, you know, see things through a different perspective. It's definitely, you know, a lot of stuff going down, and it's very impressive. The day before every, every event, we get together, we discuss the deck list, we kind of get a good idea of where the matchups might, uh, might be in most in favor of any particular person, especially once we know the brackets. We discuss this, of course. Magua and I sometimes get together, we take notes, and uh, we prepare a lot of stuff to talk about ahead of time. So I'd say if you want to be a, a, a Gwen caster, first of all, you got to count Neckers. You want to make sure that you keep track of the you know, the numbers and don't mess up like me. And second of all, I would say just stick to your roots and look at yourself and see what uh, qualities define you. Don't try to mimic others, just do your own thing. And I think, I do believe that if you are good at that and you work hard, uh, regardless of what your style is, you know, it's honestly hard to imagine myself uh, without having experienced all this. Uh, honestly, it, it legitimately changed my life and I'm very excited for the future of Gwent. And of course, I'm very excited for the future of the Gwent Masters as a whole because if it changed my life, it probably will change others, right? <laughs>